going on guys my name is joey speaks and this is everyday people the podcast the mini pod So I'm going to just jump right in today. I have a couple things that I've been re- really wanting to talk to you guys about. And so I want to kind of go back to some of the things that I used to talk about much more often when I first started being a personal trainer. And so the first thing I want to talk about is, you know, so for me personally, and what I want you to be thinking about is that I like to think of myself as a mixed martial artist of personal trainers. Um, and also just like a mixed martial artist of the way that I train. And what I mean by that is this, not that I'm a mixed martial artist because I like I'm not in, in this for the, for the fight of it. But what I do is I try to mix up all my training styles. And so a mixed martial artist, they have to know everything. They have to be able to, you know, box, kickbox, grapple, wrestle, jujitsu, like everything. So you can't just know one skill and be able to compete in a mixed martial artist uh, fight. And so as a trainer and as a guy who likes to train, if you only do one thing, your body will get used to that. And I want to and I want to make sure I explain this first too. Being great at one thing, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But the reality is is the better that you can be at multiple things, the better your body is going to react. Okay? So there's something called muscle confusion, and I don't want to get too deep into muscle confusion, but to make a very long story short, you need to just kind of keep your body guessing so it will constantly have to always react read and react to what you're doing so it will perform proficiently, okay? That's muscle confusion in a very quick little nutshell. Now, I think that for people who love to just do cardio, that's great. Some people who just love to just just lift weights hard and heavy, that's great also. But man, let's just take, for example, I'm gonna give you a quick little example. Let's say you just love to do cardio, but then one day you go lift weights and you realize how weak you are, like how, how, how much strength you lack it's because you're not lifting weights. You may have a great cardiovascular system, but you're not strong. And then now let's turn the table. Let's just say that you lift weights hard and heavy. You can, you can lift, like you can lift as heavy as you want to. Let's say you're strong as hell. Okay. But then you walk up the steps at work and you got to take a knee at the top because you ain't got no cardio. So it's good to be great at one thing, but in my opinion, it's better to be really, really good at multiple things. When I played sports when I was young, I played baseball, I played football. I played more playground basketball than I played baseball and football put together. And I feel like my body having to move for those three different sports made me a great athlete. The thing that I do see today in today's day is that, how's the mic? I think the mic's pretty straight. Um, In today's day is I think that people kind of get caught up in just what they love to do. And like I said, that's good. I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to knock what you love. But what I do want to do is tell you, man, like do what you love, but then also mix it up, man. You got to mix it up. And when you get good at a bunch of things, man, your strength will come, your cardio will come, everything will come to you and you'll be able to see a different part of yourself. So I wanted to keep this part of the podcast real quick, uh, but really efficient and letting you know that, you know, like don't just focus on one thing. I want you to start off doing what you love but once you kind of get into your groove, man, like, like, like reach out, do some other stuff, do yoga, do Pilates, stretch, incorporate all these different things into your program and it will only make you better. It will only make you better. Okay. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. The next thing I want to talk about is the difference in the way that we do workouts. So today's going to be much more focused on workouts. I may talk about a couple other things, but you know, just, just the workouts. So I like to lift a couple of different ways. There are times where I get into this, into this mode where like, man, like I just want to just go hard and heavy and I go heavy. I lift as much as I can. I do as many reps as I can. So I, um, I do subscribe to the theory of the higher weight that you lift, the fewer reps you should do. But I also, when I'm on it, I'm only talking about for me right now. I'm not talking about for my clients. I'm not talking about for anybody else in particular. I'm talking about me. I still like to do as many reps as I can as I lift heavy, okay? So I feel like I'm getting the the best of both worlds. Now, the heavier it gets, chances are the fewer reps I can do, 
but I don't just say, hey, I'm just gonna do one rep or two reps of this amount of weight if I can do five or six. So I may not be able to be in the eight to 12 range for muscle hypertrophy as I go heavier, but if I can do five or six as opposed to two or three, more work with more weight is only more better. It's only more better. It's only better, right? So I love to lift hard and heavy and everything I do is just ah, like, I'm, I, I kind of come in here like, and, I, and I'm just, I'm ready to go. Other times I like to, to go lighter with more reps. And I like to, it's a totally different burn. It's a totally different feeling for your muscles. Like when, when, the, when the weight is really heavy, it's a fight. <laughs> I mean, it literally is a fight to get the weight up, to get the weight, to push the weight away from you. And it feels one specific way. Now, when you go lighter for more reps, burn is the, probably the best word I can think of the way that it feels. It is just, it turns into, because you can do the reps, but then you just keep going, you keep going, you keep going. And man, like it turns into this, this good, good pain burn but man like it creates so much definition it it, it create it creates so many striations so i am not a believer in just doing x number of reps i know that there um i i do say oh this is what you should do depending on what your level is let's say you know your eight to 12 reps is hypertrophy range i also think that if i can do 15 or 20 reps i'm going to do that if you can do 15 or 20 reps you should do that with the same weight that you could do eight to 12 reps. Okay, I wanna make sure I'm making sense with this. Don't change the weight to try to do more reps if you don't have to. If you have to, then do, okay. So, I love to do HIIT workouts, high intensity interval training. Generally speaking, they're body weight workouts. They're much more cardio style workouts, yeah? Um, and that doesn't mean that everybody's HIIT workouts are like that, but generally speaking, typically a HIIT workout may be uh, with body weight. I love to do HIIT workouts with weights. I love to lift weights at a cardio pace. That is where I get the absolute best bang for my buck as far as the way that my body reacts to my workouts. You get size and strength with heavier weights. You get cuts and definition with lighter weights with more reps. When you combine the two, I mean, it's literally the best of both worlds. So I started off by talking about being a mixed martial artist of a person who works out. And I want you to think about HIIT workouts to where you can do, you can mix things up, okay? Now, when you are doing something for cardio, you do not wanna go quite so heavy because the law of diminishing return will kick in really fast. And when you are lifting heavy, uh, too heavy of weights at a cardio pace, your muscles can fail quickly. So you need to make sure that you're getting the correct amount of weight when you're doing a HIIT workout with weights. So I'm talking about two totally different things here. One style is just coming in, going hard and heavy, build muscle, building size, building strength. The other workout I'm talking about is a HIIT workout with weights where, so I'm gonna give, just give you a good example. So let's just say if, uh, if, if, if I'm working out with uh, 90s for, uh, 90 pound dumbbells for my incline bench press, let's just say, and I'm doing five sets of uh, eight reps, okay? 90 pounds is heavy. I'm not gonna take any 90 pound dumbbells into a HIIT workout, okay? 90 pound dumbbells for me are gonna be in my strength workout when I'm going hard and heavy. I might jump into some maybe some 55s or 60s, okay? Where I could easily do 55s or 60s, but man, like when you're doing them for 40 seconds straight, as many reps as you can do with good form, man, that burn starts to kick in. And so it's not a matter of you not being able to lift the weights. Now the burn is kicking in and it's a totally different type of workout, okay? So when you're doing a HIIT workout, make sure that you do not make the mistake in trying to go so heavy with your weights. Now, I love the HIIT workouts. Like I said, I feel like they get the best bang for your buck. For the most part, for what I see that people wanna do when they wanna change their body. Now, if you are more into the bodybuilding side of lifting weights, um, and that doesn't mean getting up, get, getting up on stage and being a bodybuilder. I mean, if you're just trying to just get real big, real strong, HIIT workouts are not for you, okay? So when you are going hard and heavy, you don't wanna go fast because you don't want your heart rate to get up too high to where you can get out of uh, the fat burning zone, okay? So when you're, when you're lifting weights hard and heavy, you wanna take enough time in between to make sure that your muscles are ready to get the next set. Chances are you may not even be in the fat burning zone. 
Now, the fat burning zone is typically, this is going to vary from person to person, but typically if you can keep your heart rate anywhere between 115 beats a minute to about 130 beats a minute, that's generally speaking going to be your fat burning zone. When you get above 130 or 135, you are definitely still burning fat, but you now may be burning a little bit of muscle. So I'm getting very technical today, and I don't want you to get lost in the technicalities that I'm talking about. So if you are looking to do more bodybuilding, you want to go slower. If you're looking to just get in great shape, get yourself healthy, don't worry about what your heart rate is while you're lifting weights if you're, if you're lifting harder and heavier, okay? If you're looking to get in great shape, you want to, I think that HIIT workouts are a great way to do that. But then I combine them. One, let's just say one week I go HIIT workouts, and next week I go um, hard and heavy workouts. And then some, some weeks I combine them. So like I said, I know I'm kind of jumping around here a lot, but I want to give you this information because, you know, you've heard me say this a, a thousand times already. Do what works for you. Do what works for you. This is the best thing about doing something. Whatever you do, it's going to work. Because doing what you're doing when you're not doing anything is always worse than doing something. As long as you're not hurting yourself, as long as you're doing something, and then you figure it out along the way. So start. You, start, you figure out what you want to do first. Go with that. And then start mixing it up. Okay? So think of yourself as not just being a one-trick pony, but you want to start off with that one trick, and then you want to expand your, uh, you, you want to expand your horizons to other parts of fitness as far as lifting weights, okay? All right, so um, that is, those are the, that's the main topics I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, I, th I really do think that, you know, people kind of get uh, paralysis by analysis. Oh, well, I should do this, or, you know, like, oh, well, this person says that, you know, you should do this kind of workout, or you should do, Man, who cares what that person says? Who cares what I say for that matter? I want you to take the information that I give you and then apply it to yourself and say, hey, you know, Joey had a point with this. So I'm going to maybe take a little bit of that. But then this guy had a point about this. So I'm going to take a little bit of that. But don't just get stuck thinking about what you should do. Do something. Lift. Get guidance, whether it's from me, another personal trainer, someone who you know who, who um, is, a, is really about it in the gym, like, like do something, okay? So um, those are the first couple topics I wanted to talk about. The next one is, you know, so for this, for this quick topic that I want to talk about here, um, so I was at church one day, right? This is years ago. I'm at church. And Pastor Doug is giving this sermon. I love Pastor Doug, by the way. Pastor Doug is giving this sermon, and he asked us this question. Are you an encourager or a discourager? And man, that, 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 that really hit me hard because I don't think that I was such a discourager, but I was so intense about things that I was doing that I was pretty sure that I was not as much of an encourager as I wanted to be. And so as a coach, am I, am I an encourager or a discourager? Am I one of the guys who like gets in your face and is yelling at you and it's like, eh, eh, eh. a lot of people don't react to that. Am I an encourager? Am I, always, am I always patting you on the ass and saying, oh, you're good, you're good, you're good, and lying to you. And I'm, I'm very much in between, okay? I, I do not discourage. I do not believe in discouraging people. I do believe in telling people the truth. And you know who I tell the truth the most? is me. Because it's so easy for me to lie to myself. Oh yeah, Joey, like 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 you look good. No, you don't. Oh yeah, Joey, like like that, that's good. That that was a good workout today. No, it wasn't. Like I know when I'm doing something properly. More, I know when I'm doing something not properly. And so I bring up the encourager discourager um, topic because, you know, as a coach, who am I? Do I encourage you or discourage you? I am going to encourage you all the time. If I'm going to make a mistake, I'm going to make a mistake encouraging you. I will never lie to you because if I lie to you, I'm only setting you up for failure. But I'm, I'm looking for the good things and I will talk to you about the bad things. And so for ourselves, I think we need to do that for ourselves as well. You need a coach, but you also need to coach yourself. 
when I when I go to the gym, when I go to LA Fitness, 24 Hour Fitness, I put my headphones on and I love being in a room full of people feeling all alone because the music's so loud. Like I can see you, but like I can't feel you. I can see you. I'm looking through you. And man, there's so much self-talk going on for me when I'm in the gym, when I'm lifting. You got to go harder. You got to push more. That was too much. You're going to hurt yourself. Like there's so there's there's such a conversation going on. And I know that you guys have that same conversation too, whether you want to talk about it or not. It doesn't matter to me. We all talk to ourselves. And I want you, I want you to realize, man, like whether you have a coach, whether you have a, a training partner, whether your spouse is encouraging or discouraging, like you got to cheer for yourself. Like you got to go hard for yourself. You got to cheer for yourself. You got to go hard for yourself. If you are not, if you don't have your back, like, man, like it's going to show, like, like, like it's going to show and it's going to show in the way that not just the way that you walk around every day, but it's going to show in the way that you lift in the way that you go about your business. Sometimes, sometimes like you have to be unrealistic. Now, don't take that wrong. I'm not saying to try to lift 100 pound dumbbells when you can only do 50s. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is you have to be unrealistic with, you know, what you are going to tell yourself you're going to do that day. It's so easy to get up and say, man, like, I don't feel good. I'm not going to, uh, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to just make sure I go. I'm going to do a little bit of this. I'm going to do a little bit of that. And I'm going to go home. At least I'll get a workout. Nah, man. Nah, man. Don't do yourself like that. Don't do yourself like that. Give yourself your best shot to win. You have to encourage yourself. There's nothing wrong with being hard on yourself. There's nothing wrong with giving yourself a hard time when it's deserved. But I think you also need to give yourself some grace. You also need to give yourself some room to make mistakes. You also need to give yourself... When you make a mistake, when you miss a workout, when you mess up a meal, one of the biggest things that I see as a trainer, when someone has a bad day of eating, okay? I'm gonna jump off the workout workouts a little bit and get into uh, meals just for a second. When someone has a bad day of eating, I can't tell you how many times I've heard this. Well, you know, like I, I, I had a bad day on, on, on Thursday, so I was like, I don't know. Whatever, on Friday, I was like, just like, whatever, I'll get back to it on Monday. No, nah, man. Have a bad day. That's okay. One day does not make or break you. It's your consistency. Consistency does not mean that you're going to be great every day. It means you're going to do like this. It's the way it goes. If you're losing weight, when you lose weight, you lose like, like this. You go down, go across, you go up. You go across, you come down, you come down, you go up, you up. Like, it, but you're still going in the right direction. Now with strength, it's the same thing. You're starting here, you go up, you come across, you go down, you go across, you go up, you go up, cross. But you're still on that upward trajectory. So you can't be your own worst enemy if you have a bad day, a bad time, a bad workout. Man, I have had some of my greatest workouts when I felt the worst going to the gym. I literally would have to yell at myself, get up and go to the gym get up and I just drag myself <laughs> and, and I just I get to the gym and I, I'm a monster and there's other times I go to the gym I think like oh I feel good I'm gonna be oh I, I just feel real strong and I get in there and I'm not strong but I go hard but I just am not as strong as I thought I was gonna be and I, I, I know you guys have been there but you can't let that day go to the next day it's just a day it's just one day. One day will not make or break you. It is your consistency that will dictate your success. Yeah? Yeah. All right, guys. So today, I really, uh, I really wanted to talk to you guys about this. This is something that means a lot to me as far as whether I work out and the things that I do. I like to mix up my workouts. I like to do a little bit of everything. I don't want to be good at one thing. I want to be good at everything. If someone comes in here and they say, hey, can you do this? I want to be able to say, yep, let's do it. I don't want to say, oh, I have no idea what you're doing and how to do that and just be like lost. I, I, I don't ever want to be that guy. I also want to be really good at the things that I'm good at. So mix it up, okay? If you are trying to 
get in great shape, bodybuilder style, you gotta be a little more technical, okay? If you're trying to get in great shape as just someone who's trying to just get in great shape, just improve your health, go, do. Don't worry about stuff. You gotta start. Once you start, then you, once you start, then you will be able to figure your way through. That does not mean do not go in with a plan. That means just don't get stuck thinking about stuff and not start. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying today, okay? All right, guys. Quick little shot right here with episode number two. Um, if you guys have any questions, man, please hit me with the questions. Leave them in the comments. I am happy to talk about anything that you want to know about. Um, any of the, the things that you've done that have not worked or the things that you have done that have worked. Any of the foods that you eat, the workouts that you do. Like, let me know what you're thinking. And if you have any questions or you want me to answer any questions for you, I will do it right here on the mini pods. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. I will see you in the next video.